Hi everyone. In this video I want to show you how to install plugins on Omeka Classic. Uh, you'll see here that I have both official and unofficial and what I mean by that is uh, official being plugins that you're able to find on the Omeka Classic website as well as unofficial uh, which I consider uh, GitHub repositories and, and plugins that you would grab from there. And naturally you want to be careful when uh, downloading or installing an unofficial plugin. Uh, however, there may be some uh, really good plugins out there that you want to try using. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do both of those uh, in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is SSH into a sandbox environment I've created on a virtual machine uh, for Omeka. Uh, what you're seeing here is uh, an installation of Debian with the GNOME desktop. Um, I'm going to use this to SSH into my server. If you're using something like PuTTY, that, that's great too. Um, everything will be the same. Um, I just find it's a little better to, to use um, a Linux shell to SSH into things. It's just more convenient for me. Uh, so the first thing I will do is uh, open up a shell and let's see. So uh, I have the terminal open. I will SSH into SSH into my sandbox environment. And I'll do that with, uh, so run the command SSH, uh, and then the user for my sandbox environment is jkellogg, and I'm going to use the IP address of my sandbox environment. Uh, so I have 10.3.20.10. And put in my password, and this is the password for the jkellogg user on my sandbox environment. Okay, so I am now in the sandbox environment, the server that, that hosts my sandbox, and I'm just going to run the clear command, and I think, um, maybe we'll just open this up completely, and clear, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the plugins directory of my Omeka installation. So cd change directories into the slash var slash www slash h HTML, and then I believe it's plugins, and we'll go there, and we'll list what's in there. So right now, um, these are all of the plugins I have installed in my test environment, and what I'm going to do is install a new one. And so the first one I'm going to install is uh, an official plugin that you can get on the Omeka Classic website. And so what I'm going to do is just hop over to a web browser that I already have open so you can just search Omeka plugins um, or Omeka classic plugins and uh, with any search engine and and you'll be able to find it pretty easily uh, if not the URL is right here and uh, what I'm gonna do is install uh, the Dropbox plugin so I'm gonna just scroll down here uh, find the Dropbox plugin there it is and what I'm going to do is grab the URL for this. I'm not going to download it. I don't want to mess with an um, FTP client or anything like that. So if I right click on the download button and copy link address, I will have the link that I need in order to uh, install the plugin. And so now what we'll do is hop on back to the terminal. And I'm going to use the wget command. You may have to install this, so it would be, you know, sudo apt install wget. I already have it installed, so I'm all set. Um, and what we're going to do, you could also use uh, the curl command, so, you know, uh, wget curl, well, you may want to look into that, but I'm just going to use wget because it's easy and I'm used to it. Um, and we're in the plugins directory, so it's very important that, that that's where we're at. And I'm going to run sudo uh, wget, and then I'm going to paste that URL that I grabbed off of the website. And we'll go ahead and click enter. And so now um, I'll just clear my screen and I'll list the contents of the plugin 
directory and you'll see that we have the Dropbox zip here. So the next thing we're going to do is unzip this uh, and sudo uh, unzip Dropbox. Okay, if we go ahead and list everything, you'll see that now we have this Dropbox directory here. Um, and, you know, at this point, I, I like to clean things up. Maybe it's a good idea to hold on to older versions of plugins uh, just in case you need them. Um, I'm not going to worry about that, so I'm just going to remove that. Uh, sudo rm Dropbox dash. And then I'll use tab to auto complete it. We'll list it and it's 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 gone. Uh, we'll clear the screen again. And now that we've unzipped that in the, the plugins directory, I'm going to go back to uh, the browser that I have open. And I have a couple of tabs open, uh, one of which is, is my dashboard. So uh, you just go into your admin module. If you go to the plugins link, and um, maybe, maybe we want to make that a little bigger, um, and you'll see that the Dropbox plugin is now available to me and all I need to do is click install and I now have the Dropbox plugin available to me. Um, I don't know how to use it. I haven't been through that um, but I suspect it's probably fairly easy to, to figure out. Okay now that we have installed this official version off of the Omeka Classics plugins page uh, I will show you how to install an unofficial plugin and again uh, always be cautious with what you are putting onto your system. Uh, these unsupported uh, plugins could very well have things embedded in them that are watching what you do or stealing information um, and all that good stuff so uh, while I have never encountered that um, I know you know it is something that is quite possible so just always keep that in mind and so the plugin that um, I've been curious about is with Omeka um, I'm not happy with the stats that I get from using uh, Google Analytics um, and so I wanted to try out this uh, Omeka plugin stats just to see if I can get uh, if I can get better data using that. And so I, I figure this this provides a, a good opportunity for me to, to give it a give it a look. I've been meaning to look at it for a while. So um, the way to go about installing it, uh, so you'll be on a, a GitHub repo page. Uh, this is the main page. Anytime you're looking at uh, anything on GitHub, I would highly recommend going through the README sheet first. It gives you all of the instructions you need in terms of um, how, to, how to go about installing things usually. Uh, so here, the stats plugin, we've got some really great instructions on how to go about doing things. Um, I'm not going to go through them bit by bit just because the, what we're looking at now is, is going to be pretty universal. So um, the first thing we need to do, uh, very similar to the uh, official plugins page, we want to get a URL that we can put into our plugins directory. And there are two ways of doing that with a GitHub repository. You could use your, you either use git clone or um, you can download the zip file. Uh, so we want this little green button here, clone or download. Drop that. So if you're uh, going to clone it and you're familiar with Git, uh, you would grab this URL here. If you are not using Git, and in our case I'm not going to use Git, um, I think it's it's in this case, it's better off just to download the zipped file. Um, so what I'm going to do is hover over the zip file, right click, copy link address, and I will head back over to my terminal. So we'll go here. I'm in the plugins directory. Again, very important that that's where we're at. And just so we can see things, I'm going to run the ls dash la command so we get a list of all of the plugin directories that are already here. Uh, what we need to do now is uh, get the zip file into this directory. So uh, same thing as what we did with the official plugin. Uh, I'm going to use sudo um, wget and then paste the 
URL here. All right, I'm going to clear my screen. And for those of you that want a clone, it's just a matter of get clone and then grabbing uh, this URL here, not the download one, the, the, um, the clone URL. So if that's the route you're going, then um, go ahead and do that. We're just going to look and see. Uh, so we have this masters.zip file, which is tends to be what the name is uh, when you get something from a GitHub repository. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just unzip that. Uh, so sudo unzip master zip. OK, let's clear that. Uh, let's list the directories again. So you'll see that we have the Omeka plugin stats master. Now, one of the reasons why it's so important to read the README files in any GitHub repository um, is kind of demonstrated here. This is not actually the name of the directory we want. So uh, if I go on back to the GitHub repository in the README, you'll see here uh, uncompress files and rename the plugin folder stats. So there's a number of ways to do that. Perhaps what I'm about to show you isn't the best way, but it's the way I'm most familiar with. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back over to my terminal. And um, I think, again, I just kind of want to clean, keep things clean. So I guess the first thing I want to do is sudo rm master zip make sure that's gone okay so what I'm gonna do is sudo make directory mkdir and I'm going to call it stats list it here uh, whoops I wanted it to be stats and uh, I'll just quickly remove my mistake uh, sudo rm stat Okay, so now we have, that is a directory, oops, uh, sudo rm-r stat, there we go, um, clear the screen, and what I'm going to do is use the move command, and I guess I'm just going to list things again. Um, I'm going to use the move command to move everything from this directory into this stats directory. And I'll do that by sudo mv, uh, let's see, I'm going to do omeka plugin stats master. And then at the very end of that, we'll put an asterisk in. So that's a wild card that denotes everything from this directory um, is my target. And we're going to put it all into the stats directory. And I can just say stats and go ahead and hit enter. And now if I list the contents of Omeka plugin stats master, you'll see nothing's there. If I list the contents of uh, stats, you'll see that all of the plugin information is there. Um, and again, to keep things clean, I want to sudo rm-r, very important that you put the dash r in when you're removing a directory. Um, Omega plugin stats master, and that is now gone. So now what we can do is head over to our admin module in our web browser. So we'll go back here back in here and I'm gonna go to plugins and we should find our stats plugin here and if I put in click on the install button I get my configure page um, I haven't played around with this very much at all uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say save changes um, now in this case, you'll notice that it's not listed here. I don't have a, a stats thing. Again, another good example of why it's important to read the README file. Uh, so we do get some instructions here that we can look at our stats by uh, appending uh, our Omeka installation with this path here. So I'm going to just copy that and go over here. I'm going to take out the admin and plugins. Uh, put in the stats summary 
and so here we have um, have this new plugin. Of course, we're not going to see much uh, because I've just installed it. Um, but if you start, uh, you know, going around and, and looking at things on your Omeka installation, um, you know, I can just come in here, just look at things and click on things, and then if I go back to my stat summary, and if I come through here, just clicking on things, you'll see that, that things start to show up. So, so I think that, that just about covers it. Um, really the most important thing to remember is um, any new plugin that you want to install needs to be done in the var www html plugins directory of your Omeka installation. Um, it may be in a different file. I guess at this point probably most people have the extra HTML directory. Um, in any case, you just want to make sure you are in the directory where the root directory of, um, of Omeka. So in my case that's the HTML directory list contents there, you'll see all of the familiar Omeka plugin stuff. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, um, all that good YouTube stuff, um, and I will see you in other videos.